All right, so we're gonna do a little test on the dyno. What we're gonna do here is, we, so we have two locations for EGT. Well, this was actually for the air fuel mixture, but we're using it for an EGT port right now. We're gonna do a test right now, steady state hold for at 2100 RPM or like 2150, I think is what it's holding at. 2150 RPM for the 10 seconds and see how hot the EGTs get right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool down, get the same oil temperature. We're gonna swap the, the sensor from here to there and then see what the EGTs are again. So I've seen, uh, I've seen debates on it before and somebody met, said it on my one of my videos that it doesn't make a difference. So we're gonna do a video and see if it makes a difference. All right, so now you've seen that run. Now we got it switched back around, so it's in the exhaust manifold, right, in between the two um, separating plates, volutes, scroll, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna do another run on it and see what we get for temperature. Let me know in the comments before, pause the video, let me know in the comments if you think it's gonna be different or if it's gonna be the same or what it's gonna be. Let me know in the comments. Oh, now that we did that test, I just wanted to talk a little bit, just for a minute or so, um, maybe a couple of minutes, on why there's a difference in temperature from point to point. Now, disregard the turbos apart because we're swapping turbochargers around. Uh, this is after the fact here. But the reason for, it doesn't matter. I, I know I, I've, I've heard people say this before. If you have an upgrade turbine or a bigger compressor, or um, sorry, an upgrade turbine or an upgrade turbine housing, that that makes a difference. Now it does make a little bit of a difference, but it's not that big a difference. The reason that you're always going to have more pressure on this side of the turbocharger than this side of the turbocharger, so pressure equals heat, so it only makes perfect sense. Now, yes, when the your combustion ha is happening when you're doing a full run there is literally fire here for the most part so that's part of the reason that it's so hot but is what it is but a lot of it has to do with pressure a pressure differential between the two and you can run it here the big thing is is that you have to know what the difference is going to be like if you put a, a probe here ran it here for a while and then wanted to put it here for whatever reason you could do that because then you know at full, you know, at a at full wide open throttle, buzzing down the highway, pulling a trailer, whatever, how hot it's going to get. You're going to know roughly, like, you know, if you, the truck is tuned properly, you know, maybe you should get 1400 degrees, maybe uh, like wide open, hold your foot to the floor for, you know, a minute. It should, you know, run 1400 degrees. I know that most guys' trucks are going to run hotter than that. So if that's the case, you want to know exactly how hot that thing is, not guessing. Because if you're guessing, well, you end up with pistons like that. It's not what you want. So I just thought I would preface a little bit about that. Um, but for you guys that are interested in turbocharger, um, we're going to be doing a bunch. We're doing testing. We're, we're doing some testing in the background. Um, it's really hard to video the testing because it's like take a turbo off, put a turbo on, change this, change that, go to the lathe, change something. You know, modify this, modify that, but there is some videos coming talking about turbochargers and, and housings and some different stuff. So, 
Now that you guys have seen those numbers, for any of you guys that doubted that there's a difference between having the EGT probe there versus there, well, numbers don't lie. Yeah. All right, watch this other dyno video.